Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Guess what day it is? <laughs> Squirrel box day. Now I'm uh, very excited because I know like this is number number 96. This is for August. It's come very early. It's only the 12th of August. I don't know if I've ever had it this early before. I think it used to be around the 17th when I first started a few years back. Um, I don't think it's ever been this early before so that's exciting and I've also heard a little whisper that I think it I think maybe it was in the, some of their, uh, their promotional things there's been a hint that there's something extra special and, and exclusive in in this box number 96 so yeah last month's was special we had Trinkety Squall a star <laughs> as, the, as the featured artist and some new packaging and it was a really lovely box and I've only just did my challenge piece a couple of days ago so it feels really strange to have this already and I'm very excited to get in so shall we have a look <laughs> so for anyone that happens to be watching this and doesn't know already this is a uh, school box is a monthly art subscription box it's a mystery what you're going to get but they're all curated to um, work together and um, give you some inspiration get you trying some different combinations of things uh, supplies you've not tried before uh, so whether you're like you know you've been dabbling for years like I have and you've got a room full of stuff already or whether you're just starting out plenty in here you've got everything in the in the box you need to get started and uh, yeah get those creative cogs turning I'll tell you a bit more about what's in it as we as we go in um, I think it the subscription price has just gone up to £20.95 a month but obviously it's cheaper if you buy you know more than a month at a time Scroller drum roll. Yeah, this is the this is lovely new packaging. I love this this inside. I reuse these boxes to send things out, and I'm thinking I could turn the whole box inside out and refold it with this on the outside. That would be fun. <laughs> mm, so this is the gubbins of the supplies. I'm having surreptitious filled, but I'm going to keep myself in suspense a bit longer. We always get the scrawler zine and there's a first kind of clue about what to expect so uh last month was very sort of a very colorful cover this month it's kind of more subdued but i quite like that sometimes you know makes a nice change this is very graphic looking it's making me think markers uh, but can't be sure Ooh. this is kind of urban sketching looking isn't it which is something i've been meaning to have a go at for ages and I've bottled out so far. Let's see who the featured artist is. So you always get this print, this kind of art print by the featured artist who whose work has inspired the box. Willie Watt, that's a good name, isn't it? Architect. Do you know, when I first looked at that, I thought, oh, it's kind of almost reminiscent of, of architect's drawings. So yeah, that makes sense then. Uh, an architect and a director at the award-winning Nic Nicole, Nicole Russell Studios. Loves to draw, has drawn since he was at primary school. Blah, 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 blah. I have a good old, good old read of that later. There'll be an interview in the magazine with him as well. There's his socials. I love when, one of the things, one of the parts I love at the um, the summer exhibition at the Royal Academy is the architects section. I love that architects models and the, and the drawings. They are, they've always fascinated me. Also, we've got marker paper, another clue there. A yeah, very subdued colour scheme. The whole thing is very subdued compared to the last couple of months. But that's okay. It's good to have a contrast. Very lovely, smooth. Marker paper. Ever so thin. Now I, I've come a cropper with marker paper before where I've used the wrong side of it. <laughs> so I'll watch that this time. <laughs> Let's get the box out of the way. Can't believe I'm opening the scroll box number 96 already. It just honestly feels like the last one has just been... This is the best bit this is the uh the gubbins of the thing you always get some kind of a substrate it's usually a paper pad but occasionally we've had i think we've had art board before we had canvas or something um but yeah there's there's always there was always something to draw on <laughs> or paint on appropriate to the materials oh, 
there's always a sweetie and I love ooh, Walker's non such English creamy toffee oh yum I'll wait until I finish filming though but oh nice it does remind me of architects drawings this color palette this is going to be quite a challenge for me but yeah I love it love it We've got a pen here as well so we've got oh that, that always makes me think architects drawings as well the old edding pens they've been around for donkey's years but you can't beat them really as a pigment ink so they'll be waterproof and i guess they'll be all right with are these alcohol markers or water-based remind me a little bit of the old uh, magic markers we used to call them when i was at art school many years ago so this is a point one so it's a pretty fine point one the pen we got last uh, month was really chunky lovely it's a chunky pit pen so we've got no pencil this time but i mean to be honest for the chat for, for the point of view of doing the challenge if i have to use the odd extra supply to make them work for me then that's fine i'll just use a pencil we've had plenty of pencils before you always get a sticker as well it's usually part of the featured artwork and you can see it is there i've got quite a big old collection of stickers now they're lovely to put on the front of your sketchbooks and things like that some of mine end up in my reckless journal and that kind of thing gold faber sketch jewel markers ah so we've got a fine end and a brush end How lovely oh and it is alcohol based ink oh nice that it's 100 percent recycled plastic are they refillable though Six alcohol based markers with two nibs, soft, flexible. Is it really like a proper brush nib? I'll be impressed if it is. Marvellous. Water resistant and smudge proof. Dries quickly. Depth and shadows due to colour, repeated colour application. Easy to blend. Caps and barrel are made of 100% recycled. It's a QR code for disposing of the uh, used packaging. It, does, it doesn't say that they're refillable. I mean, they use at least they're using recycled plastic, but refillable is always better, isn't it? But in case you didn't know, um, TerraCycle do this scheme. But they get they get together with different um, big sort of big manufacturers, big big uh, creators of waste, really, <laughs> um, and they have this scheme whereby difficult things like pens can be recycled. If you've got a collection point near you, that's great. If not, try checking your local art shops because um, a lot of the local art shops do or some of them will do collect up used pens and things and recycle them with TerraCycle for you so yeah I actually use the barrels and things to, to make models and stuff like that with so not an awful lot gets thrown away <laughs> so let's have a look all these are lovely I love Faber-Castell I lo always love Faber-Castell packaging and the feel of their products and everything yeah nice so is this, I'm sure it was this box and they were saying it's something that hasn't been used that nobody will have used before. Oh, we've got a nice little swatch. I mean, I haven't seen these before, so that could be the case. Oh, there's obviously a lot of other colours then. Look at all these colours. I don't understand the, the sequence of the colours there. Probably because I'm being dense, but I don't understand those numbers. That's all history about Faber Castell. It's probably Faber Castell, actually, isn't it? Love that artwork. Now we've had a look at the supplies. Let's go in and see what the zine says. I can't pop it back up. <laughs> right. So we don't. We, we did used to get a little separate lot. What I used to call a menu card, which had the, the sort of details about the supplies and also the challenge on it. But now that's all incorporated in here. And there's a QR code so you can have a look, a closer look at things like recommended retail prices and stuff if, you, if you're interested. I don't really bother because I just think recommended retail prices are can be misleading. Um, and also it's not the main... I'm, I'm, I don't much hold to the idea of... I can see why people want to add up and see if they've got their money's worth. But to my mind it's not just about what the retail prices add up to. There's also an intrinsic value in the box itself in having it all put together for you and having the prompt and um, all the inspiration and all the supply, all, all the um, support that goes on to their Facebook page and Instagram and stuff. It's all part of, it's not just the value of the things in the box. 
if it was just that I would go to an art shop or, or I would go online and <laughs> just get them the cheapest possible way so you know but if you are interested in the prices and things that's what you need to do grey or blue skies seems a strange thing to say grey or blue skies three these versatile and blendable markers are great for on the go sketching oh here we are school exclusive you lot are the first to have a play with this marker set complete with soft brush one end fine liner tip the other marvelous oh that is exciting it makes you feel a bit special doesn't it <laughs> so here is the featured artist willie watt always wanted to be an architect right from primary school it's good to know what you want to be when you i still haven't decided what i want to be when i grow up <laughs> i always enjoy having a read about the featured artist i love this kind of work i really want to try and learn to do this um to sort of capture the things that you see when you go on holiday or just around where you live and yeah i love that and they always make it look so easy people who can do this but i just love the whole look of that and i thought about going on to, to like um google maps or whatever and just finding pictures of places that way because i don't think i've got the, the, the courage at the moment to sit in a public place where people might see what i'm doing <laughs> Don't mind filming it and showing you guys, that's different. <laughs> okay, school of tips, this is always really handy. I like to have a quick scan of that before I do my swatch. Yeah, better ways of filling in, how to fill in smoothly. Good old squ swatch squatching. My, my swatching is never ever gonna look all tidy and organized like this. Mark making, I always like seeing what different parts you can get with the, with the, the supplies. Blending, work fast to blend it. Uh, perspective drawing, that's another thing. Tom and I have been working on a, a little video about that actually. We must get back to that. He's got a really good head for that kind of thing. We need to be somewhere between Tom, Tom's, what Tom can do with it and, and something that works for my head. <laughs> Hi, my artwork. I like what it says there. I always tend to draw fairly quickly. I have no patience. I encourage people just to draw, let go and create. Don't be worried about lines they can be messy overlap and squiggle use hat shade and materials like timber balls or tiles to accentuate forms or be it pick your surfaces is it drawing everything might be too much and take too long yeah it's knowing what to leave out sometimes isn't it i love that look at all the different kinds of marks so many different kinds of marks in that one drawing try to draw straight to pen use deliberate lines Try using a continuous line, or oh, that's something like, yeah, I have tried that before, doing this like kind of contour drawing. Interesting, yes, yeah, so I'll have a look at all of this later. Oh, now we get to one of my favourite bits, which is the, the um, School of Gallery. So this will be uh, things inspired by the prompt from two months ago. I never actually did this prompt. I never got around to it. I just got too busy and I couldn't do it. So the, what was it called? Uh, Midas Touch, I think. Does it not say there? Oh, yes, it's there. there. They've slightly changed the format of a couple of things. So we had this this set of lovely graphite pencils right down to I think it was eight B was the softest one, and uh, and a lovely really gold chunky pen. So let's see if I recognise anybody. God, there's some amazing pieces here. <gasps> Claire, I'm so excited. Oh, it's all Claire. I'm so excited I could cry for a Claire 96 bell. There, look. Now I hope you believe how good you are, Claire. Well done. Oh my word, she must be so excited. I wonder if she's seen that yet. Oh, and that is just it's so beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this idea. This is something that I was thinking about doing. This idea, I've forgotten what it's called, that kind of, the, that Japanese art of that kind of visible, beautiful mending. Oh, so excited for Claire. <laughs> And then you've got the top three, so they do a separate page of the top three now, which is quite nice because you get to know a little bit more about the people. I was so, I was a bit out of the loop last month and I missed a lot of what was going on on, on Instagram and lots of these I don't, I don't recognise. Brilliant, aren't they wonderful? Yeah, people have done an amazing job. I always love the gallery, it's always one of my favourite bits. And then there's always um, an article in the back which is in some way related to the theme of the box. And then, last but not least, the challenge. So the challenge is point of view. 
scholars. Oh, stop putting that apostrophe in scholars. Look, look, scholar. If you're watching this, hang on. That doesn't. That doesn't need a, an apostrophe. It's a plural. Look. I'm one of those people. I'd go around with a marker and cross out superfluous apostrophes and put them in where they should be. <laughs> Don't need an apostrophe in potatoes either, you know. Anyway, what's that on the horizon? Whether you live in a rural or urban setting, there is so much to draw and explore. Taking inspiration from our featured artists. Oh no, it's just what I'm saying. We encourage you to get outside and capture the character of your surroundings. Build up tones, marks and textures to create your point of view. That is a brilliant challenge and it might finally, it might get me to finally do what I was just talking about which is have a go at this kind of urban sketching it will be suburban sketching <laughs> for me where we are I don't I've got the nerve to sit in the middle of Norwich and uh, although there's, there'd be some beautiful sketching to do there I might have a guess for some from some photos brilliant oh lovely so this is such a different box than the last um couple again which is good i mean it's always something different that's the thing so let's do in theory this should be the right side of the paper anything the other that side feels slightly smoother so let's i'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go with this first the edding very fine edding pen oh that feels lovely on that paper you can get lots of different um Lots of different kinds of marks to get different textures and effects and, and what have you. Yep, yeah, lovely. Let's try these these different colours. So this seems to be yeah, greys and a different yeah, different greys and a bluish and a greenish. I think of it. I'm intrigued by these. It's not um you know, you get you get brush pens like this, brush nibs like this, where yes, it is it is a brush shape and it's quite flexible. And, and that's lovely, but sometimes you get brush nibs that are actually like brushes, like with separate bristles, and, uh, and this isn't that. It's uh, but it'd still be lovely. Worse, well, paler than I was expecting, but shouldn't have from that, should I? But so I want to get like a solid cover. They're saying work in a small area, small little strokes. Yeah, that's um, that's not even dried quite yet, but it's given a lovely smooth um, cover, isn't it? Let's have a try the other end. So it's still kind of a point, but a much smaller point. Oh, let's just hold that up. There we go. So it's not a little round nib; it's still a pointed nib. So, oh, so I can get quite a fine line. Oh yes, these are going to be very versatile. Yeah. I can get quite tiny details with that if I want to. They go down lovely, they're lovely on this paper. So um, this is called Warm Grey. <laughs> okay, so it's Warm Grey 1270, Warm Grey 3272 and Warm Grey 5274. So what's this one? Dark Sepia. Oh, that's delicious. It's like a very dark coffee. <laughs> Love that. Okay, I'll try a bit of blending in a minute. And then we got this kind of greenish looking. So this is called green clay. Yeah. So it is. It's still almost. It looks like a grey there. It does look a bit more green in real life than it does on camera. And the blue is called light pigeon blue. <laughs> and that definitely does look a blue. Interesting. 
let's try this lightest grey over this pen just to see if it moves at all nope not at all which is fab to know look at that doesn't move at all not a bit mm. and then I suppose I should just see how this works over the top of so now I've just brushed that there was a little bit of a crumb there but now I've brushed that off you can see what a lovely smooth where I just did the sort of little short strokes ah there we go you can see what a lovely smooth um, layer that that's put down and I guess I could then go over it oh, I've just gone over it with the green clay oh what an idiot so if you're quick you can blend them oh god you've got to be really quick I'm going to try blending the greys in a minute Let's have a look at see if it's come through on the back of the paper. Well, I mean, you can see it through the back of the paper, but it hasn't bled through to hit to the next page, so that's okay. I think my camera's just frozen up. I'm gonna have to stop and start again. Cinema. Oh, okay, as if I didn't have enough to deal with already. <laughs> my camera seems to have broken, but I think I think this one is still working, so I'm just gonna quickly finish this. See if I can get hold of Tom to help me work out what on earth has happened. I sometimes get with these technical issues to the point where I think I, I don't think I can handle doing this anymore. <laughs> I just don't know what to do when it happens. That's the trouble. Don't know what I'd do without Tom. I cannot spend any more money on on <laughs> cameras and things and yeah. Anyway, let's forget about that for now. Let's see if I can just have a go at this blending and then I'll say my goodbyes and see if I can go and sort my camera out. I have got time. I've got to finish my stitch my stitching this weekend. Okay, what I want to try doing is blending these greys together. Um... I'm gonna it's gonna take me a bit of practice I, I'm, I'm not great with alcohol markers it's not too bad but um, it's it's definitely me not not the markers there's no fault of the markers at all it's just um, my lack of practice it's just my general ineptitude yeah that's going to take a bit of practice before I can do that let's try going into this really dark brown <laughs> just just getting worse and worse as I go along okay I'm going to go away and practice that um, and uh, by the time I'm ready to start my challenge piece Hopefully I'll have got the hang of it. I'll watch a few tutorials. I'll read all the tips in the Schooler magazine. I'm quite excited about the idea of doing some urban sketching. And although normally I love a bright colourful palette, actually for doing this kind of thing it will probably really help me to have a more limited palette. I think it's always a good exercise to do that. Um, yeah, love these. Love these. Love the... Um, both ends of the nib I love that the fine nib is, is comes to a point like that and normally they're more sort of rounded I like that and I love that this is like slightly flexible seems we'll see you know in using it how well it holds its point and stuff but um you know Faber Castell products are usually pretty reliable so yeah I'm very excited about that well normally I'd come back up now and, and say say goodbye to you but um I can't do that because my camera's not working <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we've got. Right there. Okay, can't use that for my thumbnail because I don't want to do any spoilers. But yeah, just so you can see, um, very happy with that for my. I paid eighteen ninety five this time. Um, 
yeah very happy with that very excited to have exclusive first go with these markers and um and i'm quite excited to see what i can do with them i think the prompt is really fun uh all oh, that camera's going on and off up there it's really weird let me know what you think have you got your box yet i was really early <laughs> 12th of august it's really really early and um, what did you think about the supplies um if you've got any tips about alcohol markers or any ideas for people i can go and watch you know good tutorials i can go and watch it please do give me a shout that camera's going nuts up there going on and off with the light i don't know what's happening i hope this is all recording okay um and hopefully i'll see you again soon and um ready to start my challenge thanks very much for watching sorry i can't say goodbye in person <laughs> but thanks very much for joining me and i'll see you again really soon